from the second game. Uh, let's go to the highlights. Opening quarter. Baroka. James with a long three. Yes, sir. And, uh, you know, this, this opening quarter. Uh, actually, you know, Sandy Coffey, they were trailing in this opening quarter. Oh, definitely, he never had a blistering start. They shot the ball well in the first quarter and set the tone for themselves throughout this course of the game. Billy Mounds with the uh, mid-range jumper. Uh, Mamaril had a solid uh, first half. At, uh, you know, you have Mamaril uh, scoring. But siempre, what's a Hinebra game if Kagiwa's not scored? <laughs> Best scoring output para sa Jin Kings in the entire conference. Sigurado masayang masaya si Coach Al Francis Chua dito sa kanilang panalo. At the end of the first, Hinebra Lamang 24-17. We go to the second quarter. And in the second period, all Hinebra. All Hinebra, Air Force Ellis with a miss. But, Babawe, nice swipe. And he goes all the way for the, the, the jam. That's a nice showcase coming from Ellis. Akala mo, nagdi-drill lang, eh, no? Warm-ups na. Tama. Uh, you have Ellis scoring, steal, dunk, and what about VMAC attack? Vernon Macklin. Not necessarily a highly skilled post-up player, but definitely very active, generating a lot of, uh, shall we say, energy para sa Jin Kings. Akagiwa will miss that time, but he will not miss a second time. And at the end of the first half, he never was controlling this game 48-35. Shooting the ball well, defending the points of attack by Sammy Coffey, and as a result, they had a double-digit lead heading into the second half. So, Sonic Coffee, you know, they, they tried to make adjustments uh, at the start of the second half, but you know what? We still saw more Hinebra, more Macklin uh, at the start of the third quarter. And more passes coming from L.A. Tenorio. Big uh, uh, assist night for L.A. Exactly. in this game, but Sonic Coffee, if they wanted to bounce back, they needed a big performance from Monster Bowls. And they were a dangerous team until the last part of the fourth quarter, pero matibay din ang result ng Hinebra in this ball game. Here's L.A. You missed that shot. Yeah, classic UAAP <laughs> reverse left ni L.A. Pangatanayo la sal yun. Exactly. Eh, no? End of the third. La mga Ginebra, 67-58. We go to the payoff period. Big, big three-point shots from Mark Tagiwa. Ang gandang duelo sa dulo between Mark Tagiwa and James Shep. Pero yung puhuna nila na naibulsa was enough to deflate the uh, late rally by San Mig. This is a fourth quarter. Yung oh, ganda, no? Between two of the best players in the PBA. Buhay yung mga asintado. Yeah, but here's a breakaway layup for uh, Chris Ellis. Uh, that would have been the ultimate dagger. And L.A. Tenorio sealing the deal. And Hinebra moving up. Eh, sabi ni Mark Agui at halftime, we have nowhere else to go but up. <laughs> Kung titignan mo naman yung separation between the fourth place team at itong kinalalagyan ng Ginebra, one win lang lamang yung kanilang uh, pinagkaiba. And so the final score, 96-88, but the team ko did not like that. Oh, oh. <laughs> Last lap down oh, kasi no. panalo na Ginebra, but that's a subplot, main story. Ginebra wins over San Miguel Coffee for Manila Classico. Play, play of atmosphere. Absolutely, all throughout the game. Living up to the billing, itong uh, laban natin yeah. between uh, Hinebra and of course itong kuponan ng uh, Sanmig. Sanmig was chasing its fourth straight win. Samantalang Hinebra, ayaw na nilang nasa dulo. Kasi nanalo ngayon 21 kanina, laban sa batang pair. And this win would uh, definitely uh, push uh, Hinebra into a better situation compared sa na kung saan sila ay dumapa sa Sanmig Coffee. Eh, nabagit mo na rin yung uh, Air 21 versus Global Port. Right, so, right this will show all of you the highlights from the first game para sa ating Super Bowl Sunday. Air 21 against uh, Global Port. These are two teams that want to move up, just like in Ebra. They're the lower bracket of the team standing. And KG is always dangerous from Rainbow Country. Definitely one of the big pluses para kay Coach Franz Kumaren, itong sniping race ni KG Canaleta. You've always been impressed with Michael Dunning. Oh yes, definitely. A monster player. Napakabata eh. Kaya alam mo yung potential nito, napakataas pa ang kanyang pwedeng marapin. Speaking of potential, chop it, he looks. Throwing it down, but you can see in the score, Air 21 uh, controlled this opening quarter. Labang sila 23-15, end of the first. We go to the second period. Now here's another guy that uh, 
you believe has a very, very bright future in the PBA, AJ Mandani. I've always been a believer of AJ Mandani simply because he is a super athlete. Big for his position, can shoot that shot from the mid-range. Maganda rin ang finish niya in the open court. Here's another super athlete, Michael Tani Gun. Oo naman. Inararo kami ng 40 puntos niyan. Sa puling laro. Okay, what about the new import of Globe, of Global Port? You know, Walter Sharp replacing Justin Williams. I think that Walter Sharp's best moments in this game was the back-to-back -back three pointers that he shot late in the first half. But uh, definitely, marami pang hinahanap si Coach Junal Bakuli sa kanya. Opensa, depensa, maging yung dimino niya, which uh, lacks energy. More done again in the third quarter. By the way, lamang yung Global Port by three at the half. Uh, but in the third, Air 21 making their move. And there's another conversion from the first game of uh, Walter Sharp. But Air 21 going to the cool cap uh, with that layup. Uh, and, you know, in, in Air 21, they, were, they established their control in the second half. Kinakailangan nila to be more stable. Pag bumabalik yung kalaban, or when the game is on the line. And which, which uh, better way to go than uh, to get that ball in the hands of Michael Dunnigan. So, the global court threatening, Air 21 going to Dunnigan uh, again and again. And uh, winner Boleda also hitting key baskets para sa uh, Air 21. And the express win over the Batang Pier, 106-94 Mamao game from Dunnigan. <laughs>